welcome back to my channel I had to make this video because it's been way heavy on my heart and I have to say something this video is gonna be called eight main reasons me and the MTA are beefing if you guys do not know what the MTA is the um, Metro Transit Authority I don't even know what the acronym is the people who run the train so yes let's get to it um one train traffic there always seems to be train traffic when I need to go to work I understand it's in the morning or whatever but traffic that lasts more than 20 minutes I should have took a cab to work instead of taking a train because now you're just becoming obsolete I could have driven in a car and tanned road traffic instead of you people sitting here not getting it through uh, whatever two sick passengers I understand when there's sick passengers on a train but not when you're lying to me I was on the I was on the same train you guys said it was I was on 125th on the 4 train it said oh um we're being held up because it's a sick passenger on the train I was like oh my god I know they was like is that 125th I'm like I'm on 125th and I'm on the 4 train I was like that was scary so I walked up and down I'm like I don't see no sick passenger no um paramedics nobody came down I'm just like where's the sick passenger just holding me up right now like I don't understand you guys said the sick passenger I want to see a sick passenger or at this point you're just wasting my time and I'm not here for it you be lying and acting like I don't investigate it because the MTA is known for lying so I'm here for that three stop saying you're two minutes away when you're not you're not alright it doesn't make anybody feel better you're just making me impatient and have my anxiety go from 1 to 18 because you know I hate being late and I hate when my boss gave me that look like a game market I'd be like no it was the MTA's fault they said they were two minutes away and they came in eight minutes all right four I have no problem paying for my metro cards I have none but I want to know where my money is going because these stops and everything look like shit all right no shit like it looks bad and then you still have your delays stuff is still not together and then you closed you know what that's a different topic that's that's different why is the price going up two quality doesn't make better you can have a real nice train in a nice situation and whatnot but if it's not good it's not good if you if your train look good but the stops still look like you're in middle of New York in 1972 I don't want it keep your damn train I take my old school trains for a better looking um, platform and better security and more people in the tow booth because when stuff does go wrong you guys are nowhere to be found because you guys wanted to save money by cutting people's job but then people feel less safe so yeah whatever MTA y'all need to get better metro car machines because better metro car machines and more I can't I can't understand why we only have one metro car machine at my stop and I'm like, if you walk up further down, there's another um, four where the tow booth person is. But there's two sections. And I live closer towards the end, so it doesn't make sense for me to go all the way um, there. But there's only one machine. Old people can barely get it together with this touchscreen business. You expect them to buy a Metro card? That's, that's, that's grimy. That's wrong. And there needs to be one for the Braille and blind people. They need something, too. That's not even funny. Because when a blind person tries to buy a Metro card, somebody always has to help them. And I'm like, there should be something for them. Don't let them feel more, more like their disability is more of a problem. Like, they should be able to feel it out. Yeah, you got Braille on the numbers, but they can't touch the screen. Like, did y'all think of that? No. And y'all need more than one machine. But I digress. Two. No, no. This is not two. This is seven. Sorry. Seven. AC, the air conditioning, needs to be on the whole summer I repeat from my underground trains to above ground the AC needs to be on all summer understand I can't control people's body odor but I'd be damned if you're contributing by turning off the AC I pay for this luxury of a ride to go from point A to point B if I'm on the D train going to Coney Island and I, I, I have a map Coney Island down here somewhere and I need to get up to Bedford Park and I'm sitting here smelling the musk of people and you guys can't flip on the AC switch I'm gonna have a problem that's just legit I don't like I have very hypersensitive so no I have very hypersensitive nose I don't need to be smelling nobody thank please and thank you and 
the eighth reason, last but not least, I don't appreciate when you close down a whole stop for a year and some change to do repairs and don't have like a shuttle or another means of getting there. You guys need to get it together. The six train had a certain stop closed for at least 18 months. How did people would get to work? You guys changed people's lives so much. Like we are not paying for this service. Like I don't understand. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. You inconvenience people a whole lot. And I don't understand why y'all feel like it's okay to do that and there's no repercussion. And then have the nerve, the gall, to get on the PA system and say, oh, sorry for the inconvenience, this, that, and third. Dumb inconvenience don't get that 15 minutes back on my check that I lost, does it? No. So, and Terry, I'm going to need you to get it together. I know it sounds like I'm rambling, but we have some issues. Thank you for coming back to my channel, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my rant on the MTA and why I mean the MTA is beefing. And maybe one day, one day, we can be alright again. Alright, peace.